Hello, 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 hello. This is Trent, and uh, I get a lot of requests from uh, dudes who want to know what kind of brushes you use, and man, let me get the secret sauce. What's what's? How do you make the sausage? Uh, and so, I want to do a uh, uh, a little bit of a um, little bit of a, uh, a, a very short tutorial. I'm going to show you how I make a custom brush. I'm going to show you how to modify it, how to edit it. So how you how you can make your own magic with brushes, and it's pretty easy. And uh, let's 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 do it. Let's get to it. Uh, to start with, we're just going to make a let's make a square. And uh, <clears throat> in that square, we are going to go to edit and fill with foreground color. So um, we're essentially just going to be building the shape of the brush here. So you draw a little marquee around that. You go to, uh, is it file? Here we go. Edit and define brush preset. That's a sampled brush and that's a square. Now this brush is going to show up, once you do that, it's going to show up at the bottom of your brushes uh, panel. So you could go to here and uh, and uh, actually let's let's uh, let's go to view uh, brushes or window brushes window brushes and then you select it it's the last one that that's the shape that we just created you go to brush tip shape and uh, here you can see you can like skew it and you can rotate it and I rotate it to the right but it doesn't really matter no, it doesn't really matter at all. Uh, you can adjust the spacing, and you can see you could do a lot of neat, cool stuff with that. Just that alone. Um, but we're going to go to um, we're going to keep our shape dynamics where they are. In fact, uh, that's we're not even going to use that. We're going to go to um, the color dynamics, other dynamic. Oh yeah, other dynamics. That's where you're going to find the uh, opacity. Uh, opacity uh, set to the um, the pressure sensitivity so if I if I barely touch if I barely touch it at all if I barely touch it at all you get barely any uh, barely any uh, uh, actual opacity uh, of course uh, you get no opacity because that's how we set it up but if you set that up to uh, like a jitter then you get like these chunky like uh, you know <clears throat> jitter just basically means like how much of it's going to bounce around uh, back and forth. You can set flow jitter as well. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that and then go back to the brush tip shape for performance purposes, maybe you know, 6% or something. That makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, I've got it set to a pretty high resolution. Uh, now, here's the important thing. Uh, once you're done, uh, you want to go to... Um, here and uh, create a new brush preset. That'll save out your your, your brushes. And this is the same brush that um, I know uh, Mr. Jack uses this brush. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of people who do actual painting stuff. He's going to hate me for telling you that. Uh, no, he won't actually. Um, yeah, you know the thing is is like uh, uh, square. Yeah, uh, the thing is is like a lot of kids, a lot of a lot of people. Uh, a lot of dudes think, you know, hey, I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna get me like a, a sweet, uh, uh, I'm gonna get Jamie Jones's brush sets, and I'm gonna be painting like Jamie Jones. But guess what, homie? Um, it takes a little bit more than the brush presets to uh, to get the sensibility, the 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 kind of finesse, the kind of uh, understanding that a guy like that has behind his brushes. Just because you got my brushes, don't mean you can paint like me. You gotta watch my channel. You gotta subscribe, homie, and. Uh, and that's what I'm hoping you're you're doing right now. So uh, I'm going to show you guys some more brushes uh, uh, pretty soon in the next video. Um, I hope this is useful to you. And uh, yeah, I will catch you uh, late, Rose. Woohoo! Woohoo!